Hi everyone, for those who don't know me, I'm Dr. Martin Archer. I am a physicist, and for those who do know me, one of the things you probably don't know about me is that I'm an uncle. My niece is about to turn one. I bought her some birthday presents, uh, and they're a couple of books actually. Uh, quantum physics for babies and rocket science for babies. And I thought it'd be quite fun just to have a read of them and give you my thoughts. Okay, in this video we're gonna do rocket science for babies. Let's have a look. Okay, this is a ball. Yeah, it looks like a ball. This ball is moving. Yeah, arrows depicting velocity, pretty standard. Air can't go through it. No, certainly air cannot go through a solid ball. Air goes around it, yeah, and we can see the flow lines like so of air going around it. Change the shape of the ball. So we've now turned that into a, a wing or a hydrofoil. It's no longer really a ball unless you're a topologist. To change the airflow. Yeah, so the airflow patterns have definitely changed from what they were with the ball to what they are around this, this hydrofoil. Change the angle of the ball. I don't know why we're still calling it a ball. It's definitely not really a ball anymore. To deflect the air down. Yes, so this is a really, really key point that actually a lot of times when people talk about how lift works, uh, they, they forget. Because they usually like talking about Bernoulli's principle and, and how the air going on the top has to travel faster, therefore it's got lower pressure and that means um, the ball experiences lift. No, it, the, the airflow parcels don't have to arrive at the same time on the other side. It's all about deflecting the air down and therefore Newton's third law, pushing the wing up. Basic physics, really. If the air goes down, the shape goes up. Yeah, Newton's third law, as I said. The upward force is called lift. This is the shape of an airplane wing. I might have said that earlier, you know, rather than trying to call it a ball. This ball has no lift. Uh, well, I mean, it should have some lift. There'll be a coefficient lift, um, but probably not very good at all. <laughs> the wing has lift. Well, obviously the wing's got a lot more lift. It's very good at doing that sort of thing. But how do we make the wing move forward we put it on a rocket ship. I mean, yeah, that, that, that's one way. Obviously, uh, there are wings on planes as well, and they're not rocket ships. The ship is full of fuel, certainly is. If the fuel goes out, the ship goes forward. Yes, exactly, that's, yeah, again, Newton's third law with a bit of Newton's second law in there, that's exactly how thrust works. The faster the fuel goes, the faster the ship goes. Yeah, I agree with that. So we make it explode. Yes, that's the reason why we burn fuel. It's actually just to make the stuff coming out go a lot faster. Forward force is called thrust, definitely. With lift and thrust, we can go to the moon. Actually, you don't really need that much lift. It's mostly thrust, I think, with a lot of rockets. Uh, but you've certainly introduced us to some of the core concepts. Now you are a rocket scientist. Yeah, you've learned basic rocket science. It's not rocket science. Thanks so much for watching these videos. I do hope you enjoy them and I hope my niece likes her birthday presents. Um, do the usual YouTube stuff, like, subscribe if you want more stuff from me. See you soon.